All right. Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So, welcome. Last time I did the origin of not topics mind blown. My Roblox account that I'm using right now. And um now I'm going to be use I'm going to be making another video called the origin of topics mind blown. And what I mean by that is the origin of my channel basically. And yeah, I'm basically going to be talking about my channel and how it basically started and like how I made it, you know? But yeah, let's start off with um my channel creation. Um so my channel was made on July 2nd, 2018. So, um, before I had that channel, I actually used my mom's account to watch YouTube and stuff, and I was wondering, hey, I want an account of my own to watch YouTube and stuff, so I made an account, I, I made a really cringe username that I think I don't want to say on YouTube, because, like, surprisingly, surprisingly or not, when my, when I first started YouTube, my original name was not Topics Mind Blown, I mean, yeah, it was not Topics Mind Blown, no, wait, wait. My username is not Topics Mind Blown, but what I meant to say is that it was something else that is not Topics Mind Blown. So yeah, the username was different than Topics Mind Blown. It was not Topics Mind Blown. Um, yeah, I, I, well, the, uh, you know what? I don't care. Um, actually, I'll just tell you the name, but it might be a little cringy. The name is called. The name was called. Unstoppable Trick Blader. I know it was. It's really cringy. Okay, please. I was like, I was like seven. Just kidding. I wasn't seven. I was probably nine. I, I don't even remember anymore. But um, yeah. Um, I basically made that channel and I never uploaded on it. And I didn't upload it until 2019, where I made like my first video. But basically, what I did here was I basically made random videos at that time, and that's why my first video, as you can see, it just shows up as, um, my first video, if you go to the day oldest, it just shows the YouTube video from 2020, and, like, there's no 2019 video, well, you might actually be able to find some of my 2019 videos, I'm not gonna link it or anything, cause most of them are private now, some of them are unlisted, so if you ever ending up finding them somehow, um, then that's that's not cool because some of the videos are unlisted. So, yeah, um, I basically made random videos, like I said. And the thing is, can't you just make random videos every day? Because if you just make random videos, they should be pretty easy to make. And yeah, they were pretty easy to make. It probably only took me like um ten minutes at the most to make the random videos that I did make, except. I did not upload every day. I uploaded these random videos every month. I know. That's why I basically don't say that my first YouTube video was in 2019 because technically I was basically doing stupid stuff in 2019. 2020 is when I actually made my first video that wasn't random. So, yeah. So yeah, January 5th, 2020, I made my quote-unquote first video called VayTuber vs. Non-VayTuber You edited i'm not gonna react to this because it's too cringe and i'm just not gonna react to it but if you guys do want to react to it just search my date added oldest and yeah that's basically the oldest video that i'm that is still public right now but um yeah um next video i made i didn't i basically didn't make a video for like four months on that like on the like time span and you may be wondering why you know well, Corona happened, you know, it just did, the virus happened, um, the virus happened, I was basically bored, because there was no school, which I guess that's a good thing, but, um, there was also basically no nothing, like, you couldn't, you could step outside your house, I still played with my friends and stuff, like, in real life during quarantine, but I wanted to make YouTube videos on Roblox, but for some stupid reason, I didn't know how to screen record, so I basically kept asking people, hey, do you know how to screen record? And then they tried to show me, but I, I, I didn't learn anything. But I finally figured out how to screen record. I made a test video that's now private because every test video I make is deleted. And um, so I can't show you it. Although, when I started screen recording, I used to make these like cringy Roblox videos, as you can see. But I was trying, you know, I was trying to make Roblox videos. And then, I just kept trying, even though they weren't that good, 
um, I was trying, okay? And then at one point, I didn't really upload every day, you know? But, I did not upload every day, and then school started. So, when, when school started, for some reason, even when school didn't start, actually, I took a two-week break, even though it was still summer break, I guess I was too lazy and decided to take a break for some stupid reason. But, um, yeah. After, but after my two-week break, I came back with this video where I basically shout-outed people. Yeah, I was a shout-out channel. I used to shout-out, like, a lot of people that asked for it and subscribed. That's how I got, like, a lot of subscribers. That, well, that's kind of how I started out with, by giving out shout-outs. I don't really give out shout-outs that much anymore, but I might. I mean, I still do give out shout-outs sometimes, but I just don't, like, make a whole video on shouting out people, but... Yeah, I, I went to about shoutouts part five and a half. I'm not sure if I ever made shoutouts part six. I don't think I ever did that. Maybe I did. I don't know. But um shoutouts part five and a half. I think that was the last shoutout video. These were really slow though. This was my first ever popular video actually, because this used to be my most popular video but way back then. And um yeah, I basically used to make shoutout videos. And even though I didn't upload a lot, I still did upload. But there was one point, alright, this is the video, that I basically stopped uploading for two months. Somehow, I got 10 subscribers in that month without literally doing anything. I didn't even do anything, and somehow I got 10,000, um, um, 10, 10 subscribers, I mean, not 10,000, obviously. But I got 10 subscribers in that month, doing literally nothing. And I got 100 subscribers, even though I took a two-month break, which was pretty cool, but then people started unsubscribing, like, man, I don't know why my 100 subscribers was like that, but eventually, I got 100 subscribers, my ch and then I started to upload again. And I, s I basically said I got 100 subscribers two months later, and my uploads weren't every day, but I still uploaded, up to this point where I took another month break, and then... This is where things started to get really awesome for my channel. Not really awesome, but, like, pretty good for my channel. I was getting more subscribers and stuff. 2021 is probably a really great year for my channel. I hope 2022 goes better. This was my first video in 2021. Um, it, right, this right here. And I was basically asking, what do you guys want to see? And honestly, I'll just look at the comments of this video right here to see what people actually wanted to see. And, um, Lightning King... Told me I want you to start talking in your videos again. But I guess I should shout out to him because now I actually do that. He says more PTO Age of Vids. I think they revamped that game, so I can't make that anymore. But people are basically saying um that they want um videos with my voice in it, especially Lightning King said that, but and then here we are. So thanks to Lightning King, I use my voice in my videos. I don't think I, I mean, yeah, well, I, I, I eventually just kept making videos like I did in 2020, you know, and then, like, around here, I started to, like, try to edit my videos more. I still couldn't make thumbnails at that time, and, um, but I made daily uploads, which was pretty cool, so I basically made daily uploads, um, every day. That's when I basically started. Then, I started to make thumbnails because I could make thumbnails now. And then, here was my first Roblox stream, I'm pretty sure. And, um, yeah, I started off kind of bad, but I went better. Like, this is my first Roblox stream. Now I stream, like, like quite a lot, actually, now. And, um, yeah, I kept making videos, and, yeah, that's basically how I started off. And, well, up to this point, I just kept making videos. And then, it was April Fool's Day of this year, and I made a video that instantly blew up. Right now, it has 1.3 thousand views, but I think, like, it had, like, a thousand views in, like, a day. Now, it's not popular now, because April Fool's is over, but back then, it was getting, on April Fool's, it was getting a good, a very good amount of views. And, uh, I mean, it was obviously clickbait, because it's April Fool's. I can do that if I want to, just on April Fool's Day. But... Yeah, I won't, I'll probably only do that again in the next April Fool's, so don't worry. But anyway, um, next one, I'm gonna, after that, 
I just kept making videos, obviously, and they were actually getting quite a few views. I mean, not really. They got, like, 50 views and stuff. I mean, that's pretty good for me. And then, um, around this time is when the new Metaverse Champions was announced. Obviously, the egg hunt got cancelled. Um, that kind of sucks for me, at least. I really, I really wish the egg hunt wasn't cancelled, but, you know, it was cancelled, and we got replaced with the Metaverse Champions hunt. And obviously, I wasn't planning on doing this event, and I'm, but I made like a video or two about it. And um, after that, I just started making Metaverse Champion videos and started making a ton of them. And then I started getting a tons and tons of subscribers, so I basically kept making those videos. At one point, I got like 30 subscribers in a day, two times just because of the Metaverse event. And honestly, it was pretty good. That was my first event I actually made like videos on, like consistently. And, um, yeah, wow, I, I wasn't expecting that, and I just kept doing it, even when the Metaverse Champions event ended, I started, I made a video on, like, Gucci Garden, and Gucci Garden, one of my Gucci Garden videos are actually, like, um, one of my best videos now, like, they're one of the most popular videos I have on the channel, which, I basically just kept making event videos, until there was, like, no events anymore, or I just kind of didn't, I still make event videos, obviously, but, I got 200 subscribers, 300 subscribers, and I just made Metaverse Champions videos, and I made a ton of them, and, and they worked, so. That was actually pretty cool. I just kept making them, even when the Metaverse Champions event was over, just because I thought I would get views for them, but obviously, no. But serious, on all seriousness, though, I really like and enjoy making videos. I don't make any money off of the videos that I do make because I'm not monetized or anything. Making videos is pretty fun and really enjoyable. And honestly, I do like my fan base, so I'm not sure how long this video actually is, but it's actually pretty long. Um, I'm not sure how much people are going to watch till the end, probably nobody, but yeah, I just kept making event videos from then on, and I kept getting subscribers, and there's nothing really much I can say about that. And um, hopefully we get more, um, more, more subscribers in 2022, but yeah. It's it was really fun making videos in 2021. We still have like a month left in 2021. Um, maybe we can get 545 subscribers by the end of the year. I don't know. We're gonna try that. But yeah, that's gonna be the end of this video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like, subscribe, and peace out.